Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to draw the phase diagram for a Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge. To start with, let us first see the circuit diagram for the bridge. The total voltage is E. Now this voltage is equal to the summation of E1 and E2 or the summation of E2 and E4. Now while drawing the phase diagram, we will Consider that the bridge is under balance condition. That is, the voltage E1 will be equal to E2 and the voltage E3 will be equal to E4. Now, while drawing the phase diagram, we will consider one arm at a time and we gradually complete the whole phase diagram. So, let us consider the first arm AB. In this arm, we can see that we have a resistor and an inductor in series. The current I is flowing through the resistance and inductor, the voltage drop in this arm AB is E1. To start with, we will consider that I1 is our reference. So, I1 is along the x-axis. We know that in a purely resistive circuit, the voltage is always increased with the current. So, the voltage drop here, that is I1 into R1, will be in same phase as that of the current I1. That is, it will be along the x-axis. Where is the voltage in the inductor? We need that of the current by 90 degree. That is, we have the voltage I1 omega L1 along the y-axis. So the summation of this voltage will give us the total voltage E1. Okay, we have E1 here. The next arm, that is the arm DC, x is a purely negative circuit. So the voltage here, which is equal to I1 into R3, which is equal to E3, will be also along the x-axis. That is, it will be in phase with the current I1. So we have E3 equal to I1 into R3. Now the summation of this E1 and E3 will give us the total voltage E, as was told earlier. We have the total voltage E and now we get I1. The next arm, that is the arm DC, we can see here that the capacitor and the resistor are connected in parallel connection. Therefore, the current in both these two parallel arms will be different, whereas the voltage will be same. Now, this voltage E4 under balance condition will also be equal to E3. So, it will be along the x-axis. We can see here that the voltage E4 is equal to IR into R4. So from here we can deduce that this current IR will also be along the x-axis. That will this it will, it will be again in phase with the voltage E4. But the current in the capacitor will lead that of the voltage in the capacitor by 90 degree. The voltage in the capacitor is E4. So the current IC will be along the y-axis y leading the x-axis by 90 degree. Next arm, that is the arm AD, again it believes as a positive circuit. So we have the voltage E2 equal to I2 into R2. But this voltage under balance condition will be equal to E1. So it will be along E1. We have E1 is equal to E2 equal to I2 into R2. Now this I2 is the summation of IC and IR. Also it will be along the direction of E2. So finally we can Draw E2 along the along E1 and I2 will be along the E2. This is the complete phase diagram for a natural inductance capacitance bridge. If you have any doubt regarding how to draw the phase diagram, you can ask me any questions on the comment section below. And if you have liked this video, please share and do subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.